So today I'm going to show you how you can replace your Type-C cable from the Elgato HD60S or DS Plus in case it's not working anymore or you need a replacement cable. So this is the original Type-C cable that you get from the Elgato device and it may look generic but it's not. You have a 3.0 connector as you can see here but if we turn this around we have S. S, that means it's super speed certified so this is a 3.0 cable and that's pretty much it all you have to do is find a cable like this that has the SS or a blue connector and it must be a 3.0 cable but nowadays most phones tablets laptops and everything else in between are now becoming type C cables so I decided to go around in my local stores to see if there was a 3.0 cable available in my local stores. So the first store I went to is going to be at Walmart and we have the ON brand cables. And it tells us in the back of the box on this one that is 480 megabits per second and it's just a high speed certified. Same thing with the Blinken one, it's a high speed certified USB. So it's just a regular 2.0 cable. And most of the cables there were mostly the same thing, the on and the blinking one. But I tried to see if there was more information in the back of the box, but no new information about it. But as well, there were other brands like Anchor and Apple as well. But as you already know, mostly Lightning cables. So those will not work with the capture card at all. So the next store I went to is going to be at Target and we have more Anchor products. But as you already see from the front of the box, it's a 2.0 cable. So yeah, this cable will not work with the Elgato capture card. It has to be 3.0, 3.1, or 3.2 cable to actually work with the Elgato device. But there was one cable that I was very surprised about. I didn't know this was a very cheap brand. It's just called Just Wireless. But again, it doesn't have anything. It's just like a plain box with a picture of the Type-C cable. And it tells us that it's a USB connector that's it <laughs> like nothing more nothing less just a very cheap brand do not get this one guys you need a brand that has the certified 3.0 connection then i went to best buy next so this will be my last store that i went to but again it's senior brand had a lot of cables there but of course we do have a type c connection for 10 feet which is not bad but again it's not a 3.0 connection so sadly enough that cable will not work. As well, we have the little brother, which is Best Buy Essentials. And it's the same thing. Just very nice, the box, but no certified, you know, Super Speed Plus. Or as well, no 3.0 on the box connection. So even though it is a Type-C, it's not going to work with the Elgato capture card. But then there was one cable that was very excited that I found around the Chromebooks area. And it was for 35 bucks, which is the Blanken 10 gigabit USB type C three feet cable. So as you can see from the back of the box it is a 3.1 generation cable. So this one will work with the Elgato capture card, but I decided to put it back because 35 bucks for a very small cable like that. I think that's a little bit overpriced, like it's very overpriced for just a three foot cable. But again, I just went to the store to see if there was a cable like this, but sadly enough, I did not take it. But I was lucky enough to find one cable at Best Buy. So as you can see, the cable that I got over there in Best Buy was again, the Insignia cable, and it was around 20 bucks. But as well, this is a one meter cable or 3.3 feet. And as well, it's a USB 3.2 Gen 2 cable. This one is not really important in the generation. It's just, it is a 3.2 cable. It could be a 3.0 or 3.1. You should be fine. And as well, it is a certified Super Speed Plus right here. So right there, as you can see, it's a certified USB Super Speed Plus 10 gigabit. And of course, in the back, as you can see, it's also 10 gigabit Super Speed Plus technology and one meter of length cable. So luckily enough, the cable will work with the Elgato HD60S or DS Plus. I do have the cable over here on the right side. 
But of course, I'm going to show you the cable right here, guys. So yes, it is three feet. It's not that long, but as you can see, we do have the insignia uh, names right here. But if we turn it to the back, we have SS10. So this will be a very good replacement for the Elgato device. And of course, we do have a USB color right here, USB 3.0 connector. So yes, this will work with the Elgato device, either the S or the S+. Plus. But as well, I do not recommend that you bend it too much, guys. Like, the materials are not bad. But of course, don't bend it too much because, of course, it's not going to be able to work anymore or you're going to lose signal if you bend it too much with the cable itself. But we're going to test out some examples with other Type-C cables just to show you guys that those will not work. So I'm showing you guys right now, we do have three different cables that are Type-C. And the one we have here is from Anchor. And of course, this one is just a regular USB cable that I use for my phone. But as you can see from the connector, it's just a black connector. So this will now work with the Elgato capture card. As well, I do have a Power A officially licensed cable. This one I got from GameStop. As well, you can find it in Walmart or Target. But again, look at the connector. It's a USB 2.0 or just a white connector. So this one will now work as well. And then I had the official license Nintendo Type-C connector, as you can see there, for my Switch Pro controller. And look at the connector, same thing, it's just a regular white connector. So this is mostly a 2.0 cable. But we're going to test them out just to show you guys that they will now work with the Elgato capture card. So right now everyone, we are going to test out with the Anchor cable first and then for the rest of the cables as well. As a disclaimer, make sure you connect everything correctly to the TV, to your console, and as well to your computer. All of your cables seated correctly. And sorry there's a mess, I've just been cleaning up and trying to move stuff around. But for right now, I'm going to use my PlayStation 3 as an example. But we do have the TV on. And as well, I'm using the View 9 HDMI splitter in order to get HDMI connection to the Elgato. So if you want to learn how I did that, I'll leave the video down in the description so you can check it out for yourself on how to set up the PlayStation 3 with the Elgato device. But as well, we have OBS Studio. It's on, so we're going to plug this into the 3.0 port, not the 2.0, 3.0 port in our computer, either in the front or the back. And right now, let's check for LED lights right now. If we do get power, there we go, plugged in, we got power, so the white LEDs tells us that we do get power. Now my TV is getting a signal, so let me just get my remote. And there we go, we got the PlayStation 3 running, but if we go to our OBS Studio, we do not get a signal at all. Nothing. So even if I close the program, and I open it one more time right here if I open it one more time just to show you guys still no signal but our TV does get a signal so yes the 2.0 port from the anchor does not work so now we're gonna test out the Type-C cable from Power A the officially licensed from PlayStation so everything the same thing we got the TV on PlayStation on and OBS Studio so one more time to the USB 3.0 port. Let us check if we do get LED lights. It's always troublesome whenever it comes to type A. It's always troublesome to put it in the USB 3.0 port, but there we go. We got LED lights, that means it's working. So let's check our TV right now. And we should get a signal right now. There we go. And there we go, we got a signal from the TV. But we go to OBS Studio, again, still nothing, nothing at all. So let me close it just to show you guys, open the program again, just to show you that we do not get a signal, even if we plug in everything correctly. So no signal there, but our TV, I know it blanks out because I closed the program, but we do get a signal from our television from the PlayStation 3. So yes, this cable will not work as well. So our last 3.0 cable is going to be from Nintendo from the Switch Pro controller. So the same thing. Everything's turned on. TV, PlayStation, 
and over your studio so let's plug it into the 3.0 port not the 2.0 port so let's plug it in let's see if we get any signal there we go we got power and right now our TV is getting a signal so that's good and there we go we should get a signal from our PlayStation 3 so yes it does work but then we go over here to OBS Studio nothing nada so let us just close this program right now and let's open it again just to show you guys that it does not work of course this will also happen with the Elgato software as well but I mostly use OBS Studio to record everything but again no signal but we do get a signal from our television from the PlayStation 3 so yes this cable will not work as well with the Elgato okay everyone so now we are going to use our 3.2 cable right here from Xenia from Best Buy and everything is how it is we have the TV on the PlayStation 3 on and then right now I'll open the Elgato software and OBS Studio but we're going to plug in everything as well one more time make sure that you restart your computer just in case you get some little hiccups with the USB cable just restart your computer you should be fine so we're going to plug it in to the 3.0 port and right there let's see our Elgato we do get a signal so we do get power that's pretty good so let's check our TV right now so we do get a signal that's really good so let's see there you go the PlayStation 3 is good to go with the signal but right now let's go to our Elgato software first because I know most of you are going to see like does it work with the Elgato software I'm using the old version but I think the 4k version should work as well but there we go we do get a connection so we're good to go let's go to the settings I know it's in PlayStation 4 but I'm not, is there a PlayStation 3? It doesn't look like it. Nope. No PlayStation 3, but you could keep it at PlayStation 4. Oh, yeah, there is. Oh, no, that's 5. Sorry, my bad. But I think you just keep it at Other, and you should be fine. But the Elgato software does work. I'm not sure about the 4K version, but it should be working the same way as well. But right now, we're going to open OBS Studio, because I think that's what a lot of people mostly use to stream and record as well. And there we go. We do get a signal from OBS Studio as well. And our TV, we do get a signal as well. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good so far. So let's go to the properties just to show you guys that these are the right ones that I use or the right settings I used for OBS Studio. So there you go. Mostly everything has default, but I always keep everything at custom because I change some stuff here. But it's mostly the same thing, not really much else difference or nothing changes basically. And the device right here is on the very first one. And then we go to Convict Video. We have right there 1080p 60 frames per second. So yes, we do get a signal. And right now I'm just going to show you that the audio does work. So let's go to the introduction of the PlayStation 3 this is pretty cool for the PlayStation 3 itself but we do get audio right there as you can see so yes the cable does work with the Elgato capture card so if you're looking forward to buying a replacement this is a good one that you could buy in store right now if you want to but I know there's many other brands out there that people buy online and that's fine but you just got to find the right specs, make sure it is certified USB, and you should have no problems. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That's the whole entire video that I want to show you. So, as a little bonus, guys, I just want to show you that I bought this recently right now. And it's the USB 3.0 extension cable from Best Buy. And I decided to get this because we all know that 3 feet is not enough, so I got a 6 foot one. But it only goes up to 5 gigabits, so I think we should be alright. But we're going to see if this will work with our Type-C to see if we do get a connection. So there we go everyone, we already have it plugged in just to show you guys a much more easier way. But we do have a signal, so it looks like it's doing good so far. So we're going to open our software from Elgato. So let's see if we do get a full signal. 
and there you go it does work so wow so you could add another six feet so basically close to 9.3 feet so that is not bad at all so we're going to close it we're going to open OBS studio to see if we do get a connection there as well and there you go we do get a connection so yes guys getting this can really help you out with the length in case you need it but this will cost you like 10 bucks so yeah it's not bad i mean you're spending a total of like 30 bucks here but at the same time you know i got it in store i know probably there's other cables out there that might be cheaper and might be much more better longer length i would say but i'm just very happy that i'm able to get it in store even though yeah, it's a little bit on the expensive side, but at least I was able to get a replacement while going to the store. So, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys, and share this video with anybody around the world. If they want to know how to replace their Type-C cable from the Elgato device. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Keep on playing, game for life, guys. See you later.